Okay. You are currently having an anxiety attack or a panic attack right now. Your heart is beating fast. You're shaking. You are confused. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you to calm down right now, okay? Because when people tell me to calm down during a panic attack or anxiety attack, my heart starts beating even faster and I start, I, it gets even more out of control than it already is. Instead, we're going to do a few techniques and I'm going to try to make this go away for you. And we're going to relax together. Don't worry about what I think. Don't worry about how your panic attack is affecting other people. Just look at me directly in the eyes and let's do this together, okay? Right now, I want you to look at me. I want you, in your head or out loud, it does not matter, name three things that you can see right now. Whether it's looking at me, just look around the room, what are three things that you can see right now? Go. Three things that you can touch right now. Whether it be me, yourself, an object near you, go ahead now. Three things that you can hear right now. Let that be my voice. Let that be these sounds. Good. Focus on my hands, okay? Just focus. If you can't focus, I understand. When I have an anxiety attack and people say, you're gonna be fine, you're fine, my anxiety goes through the roof. In fact, I apologize if even talking about this right now is making it worse for you. But that's okay, because we're going to get through this. Believe it or not, we will. You've done it before. You know you've done it before. Is your panic attack currently worse than you think it's ever been? Let me feel your heart. Do you mind that I touch your heart? Can I put my hand on your shoulder? Okay. Your heart rate is a little bit high, that's okay. You're not going to have a heart attack, okay? I think about that often when I go through an anxiety attack. It's okay. I'm going to teach you a technique right now, okay? You're looking at me, so my right hand might appear to you as my left hand, but this is my right hand, okay? Your right hand is the giver of energy. Your left hand is the receiver of energy. Take your right hand, go ahead, and put it on your heart, okay? Take your left hand, it doesn't matter. Just give me your left hand, okay? Take your right hand and put it on your heart. And if you're alone, whenever you have an anxiety attack and this is happening, it's fine. Don't worry about your left hand. Your right hand is the giver, and it always will be. You don't need a circuit, but just keep your hand on mine right now, okay? Keep your left hand on mine and your right hand on your heart. I'm currently giving you my my intentions and my thoughts, okay? okay? You feel better? It's okay if you don't. Just let it happen. It's another thing we're going to talk about. Just let it happen. Let it happen. Just go. Take it. When somebody's not there, when you're having an anxiety or panic attack, just use your right hand and place it where the fear or the pain is. Even your head, 
If your head is hurting and your heart is racing, just put your hand on your heart and breathe. Does your neck hurt often at all? Especially whenever you're having an attack? Well, it might be because you're breathing through your diaphragm or your, excuse me, your chest. You should be belly breathing. When we're born, we belly breathe. It's just, it comes naturally to us. Belly breathing obviously is in through the nose. Your stomach extends and then deflates. It inflates and deflates. As you're breathing in, your stomach should inflate. And then as you breathe out, your stomach should go in. That's belly breathing. Now, whenever you're breathing with your chest, your chest is expanding whenever you're inhaling. That should not happen. I'm just, it's okay if it ends. It just, no matter what, everything is fine regarding what you're doing because there's always things to do better and there's always things to do worse. Another thing that I get very upset about during an anxiety attack is when people tell me you have nothing to even be worrying about right now. You have everything to be worrying about right now or else you wouldn't be worrying about it. So no worries about that. Well, look at me contradicting myself. It is fine. You are going through a lot and that is one thing people just fail to realize is that of course all of us go through our own issues, we have our own problems, but you you need people to talk to and to listen. I'm one of those people who's very closed out. I don't like really telling my problems to other people because I know firsthand that it, they're not very important to others, but I promise you they are important to me. And you can talk as much as you need to. Whether you're in a room by yourself, just start talking. Whether it be Oh, here we go. Oh no, it's happening, it's happening. And you have to yell and scream and let it out during your anxiety attack. Go freaking crazy over it. That's another technique I use. Don't even worry about screaming in a pillow. Stop worrying about everybody else and what they may think of you having an attack. I would hide in my room whenever I would have an attack away from everybody because I was scared that they would get annoyed at my yelling or annoyed at my crying or things like that. And that makes everything worse because you're not focusing on what matters and that's you. During an anxiety and a panic attack, the only thing in that moment that matters is you. I want you to remember that, okay? Nothing else. You need to focus on you. And one more thing, when all that pain and fear and discomfort and shaking and everything else happens, let it happen. Trust me, I know it's, even yesterday I was having an attack and I thought of it and I'm like, why would I want to make something worse? But the brain either takes it or runs from it. You want to take it. If your brain starts running, force it back. That's just a technique. Please don't think that this is going to solve anything. Because overall, the only person who can truly choose to calm down is yourself. Everything else is help, but everything else also does not matter. You are the only person that matters, okay? Are you looking at me? It's fine. You are in a safe place right now. You can be yourself can cry. If you need to cry, just go ahead. Let it all out. I'm right here. Nothing you could possibly do right now would offend me. Nothing would hurt me. Nothing would make me cry or laugh or be mean. I am completely here with you. I am with you. We are in the moment. Another thing, being in the moment. And it's so easy for somebody to say, why don't you live in the moment? What are you doing? It's hard to be in the moment because how do you even, how do you, what, you just can't. <laughs> but you can. We're going to be in the moment right now. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Go ahead. Okay. 
and your eyes are closed. Now, think, 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 think of what just happened a minute ago. Me talking, you upset, just go ahead, think about it. Think about what is going on in a few minutes, what do you think is going to be happening? Go ahead. Think about it. <laughs> okay. Now think about, no, what's going on right now around you? What did we start in the beginning? Three things you can touch. Three things you can hear. Smell. Anything. Be in the moment. Look at somebody directly in the eyes. If you can't look at somebody directly in the eyes, look forward. Just, you'll get a hang of it because it's hard for me to explain how to be in the moment directly right now. Closing your eyes and staring straight forward is a good way. Becoming conscious and aware of everything around you definitely helps. There are tons and tons of ways to help ease an anxiety and panic attack. But the hard truth is, you're the only one who can potentially realize that. It's your brain playing tricks on you. It doesn't matter where you are. You can be at home, comfortable in your bed. You can be under your bed. You could be in the sky, on a plane. Anxiety and panic attacks unfortunately hit when triggers happen or randomly. And there's no reason why, but it's okay. I never had anxiety before my father passed away. And whenever he did, I'm petrified to even take a Tylenol to this day. But that is okay, because we just need to learn to accept it, okay? We need to learn and understand that these things do happen, and we will get through them. You will not have a heart attack. You will not die. You are here. You are safe. And it's okay if you don't feel that way. It's okay if you don't believe me. And I am not here to judge you. And I never will. How are you feeling now? You look a little bit pale. That's fine. I'm not here to sit here and tell you you're, you know, you're fine or you're better and because that's on you. If you feel better, you're better. Don't listen to me. There, people are just trying to help you most of the time when you're having an anxiety attack and it's fine. They don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're going through, but that's okay. Because one thing I learned from being a drug addict is this too shall pass and even though it doesn't feel like it will because in the moment during an attack you feel like your head's gonna explode and everything else you're not worried about what I'm saying or anybody else until you're desperate I become desperate and I'll cling to what anybody else has to say okay. I hope these techniques helped you. And know, no matter what, you'll be able to live. And the only thing we can do is accept that they're not going to go away and that we can learn to deal with them. You know, we can learn to deal with it. We can learn to cope. You are loved, and you are truly important. And whether you feel that you're not important to anybody, you are important to me, okay? Know that. You are important to me. And you can always come back here. We have a nice family. You're safe right now. Whether you're in the middle of traffic, look at me in the eyes and know and trust whether you want to or not, you are safe, 
you are loved and you are here. Get some rest, okay?